Maria to become a second mother to his children. When Georg asked Maria to marry him, Maria was unsure whether she should go against her religious calling. But the nuns advised her to do God's will and marry Georg. I really and truly was not in love. However, I loved the children, so in a way, I, I really married the children. <laughs> Maria Kuchera and Georg von Trapp married on November 26, 1927, 11 years before the family left Austria, not right before the Nazi takeover of Austria, as depicted in the South. Together, we have three children, Louis Mary, Eleanor, and Johannes. Maria was not always as caring as the fictional Maria. She tended to break out into angry outbursts of yelling, throwing things, and slamming doors. She had a terrible temper, and from one moment to the next, you didn't know what hit her. In the 1930s, the family lost most of its wealth due to the worldwide depression, and it was around this time that the family considered making their hobby of singing into a profession. They then traveled by boat to the USA, where they bought a farm in Vermont and continued to own the Vaughn Trout family lodge. In 1947, when Georg died, Maria was left with ten children to support. And this is when she wrote the best selling book, which inspired the sound of music. Since its first Broadway musical production on November 16, 1959, the musical has been performed thousands of times all across the world in five different continents and in over eight different languages. As you watch our reimagined production of The Sound of Music, consider this question. To what extent does the enduring popularity of this classical musical demonstrate that fiction is truly more appealing to an audience than fact? Song it hears. 
My heart wants to beat like the wings of the birds that rise from the lake to the trees. My heart wants to sigh like a chime that flies from a church on a breeze. To laugh like a brook as it trips and falls over stones in its way. To sing through the night like a lark who is learning to pray. I go to the hills when my heart is lonely. I know I will hear what I've heard before. quite pleased with their efforts. Out of 28 postulants, 16 or 17 are ready to enter the novitiate. Now, let's consider the doubtful ones again. There's Ermagard, Reverend Mother. There's no doubt about Ermagard. The religious slice is no place for the pious. You mean the pretentiously pious, Sister Berta. There's Christina, and there's Maria. Well, after last night, I don't think there can be any doubt in the Reverend Mother's mind about Maria. I gave her permission to leave the Abbey for a day. I told you, Sister Bert. Ave. Brother Mada, I for Maria, she's waiting. Sister Sophia, the mistress of the postulants and the mistress of the novices do not see eye to eye about Maria. How do you feel about her? I love her very dearly, but she always seems to be in trouble, doesn't she? Exactly what I say. She climbs a tree and scrapes her knee, her dress has got a tear. She waddles on her way to mass and whistles on the stair. And underneath the wimble she has colors in her hair. I've even heard her singing in the abbey. She's always late for chapel, but her penitence 
is real She's always late for everything except for every meal I hate to have to say it but I very firmly feel Maria's not an answer to the Abbey I'd like to say a word in her behalf And say it, Sister Margareta Maria makes me laugh <laughs> How do you solve a problem like Maria? How do you catch a cloud and pin it down? How do you find a word that means Maria? A severity a word of the wisp a cloud. Many a thing you know you'd like to tell her. Many a thing she ought to understand. But how do you make her stay and listen to all you say? As a feather, she's a darling, she's a demon, she's a lamb. She had tested any pest, drive a hornet from his nest. She could throw a whirling dervish out of world. She is gentle, she is wild, she's a riddle, she's a charm, she's a headache, she's an angel, she's a girl. How do you solve a problem like Maria? children. I think I should talk to Maria instead of about her. I'm grateful to you all. Sit down, Maria. I, I want to talk to you. Yes, about last night, Reverend Mother. I was on my knees most of the night after I'd been late, especially after you'd been so kind and given me permission to leave. It wasn't about you being late, Maria. Oh, I must have woken up half the abbey until Sister Margareta heard me and opened the gate. Half of us were awake half the night. We could only think that you had lost your way. And to be lost at night on that mountain... Oh, Mother, I couldn't possibly be lost on that mountain. That's my mountain. I was brought up on it. It's that mountain that brought me to you. Oh? When I was a little girl, I'd run down the mountain and climb a tree. I'd look over into your garden, and I'd see the sisters at work, and I'd hear them sing on the way to the Vespers. And most of the times at night, I'd run back up the mountain, singing all the way. Oh, Mother, that brings up another transgression. I was singing last night, and I was singing without your permission. Maria, it's only here in the Abbey that there's a rule about singing. Oh, and it's the hardest rule of all for me. Sister Margaret is always reminding me, but too late, after I've started singing. And the day you were singing at the top of your voice? Oh, but Mother, it's that kind of song. When I came to the window, you saw me and you stopped. Yes, it's been on my mind ever since it happened. It's been on my mind, too. I wish you hadn't mm. stopped. I used to sing that song when I was a child, but I can't quite remember. Please. Raindrops on roses and whiskers on kittens Bright copper kettles and warm woolen mittens Brown paper packages tied up with strings These are a few of my favorite things Cream-colored ponies in crisp 
apple strudels, doorbells and sleigh bells and schnitzel with noodles, while geese that fly with the moon on their wings. These are a few of my favorite things. Girls in white dresses with blue satin sashes, snowflakes that stay on my nose and eyelashes, silver white winters that melt into springs. These are a few of my favorite things. When the jaw bites, when the bee stings, when I'm feeling sad, I simply remember my favorite things. And then I don't feel so bad. Raindrops on roses and whiskers on kittens. Bright copper kettles and warm woolen mittens. Brown paper packages tied up with strings. These are a few of my favorite things. Cream-colored ponies and crisp apple strudels, doorbells and sleigh bells and schnitzel with the noodles, wild geese that fly with the moon on their wings. These are a few of my favorite things. Girls in white dresses with blue satin sashes, Snowflakes that stay on my nose and eyelashes. Silver white winters that melt into springs. These are a few of my favorite things. When the dog bites, when the bee stings, when I feel sad, I simply remember my favorite things. And then Just singing at the top of our voices. You're right, it's that kind of a song. And singing it always makes me feel better. Mother, where did you learn that song? I grew up on the mountains myself. Maria, in spite of what you saw over the Abbey Wall, you weren't prepared for the way we live, were you? No, Mother, but I pray and I try. Tell me, Maria, what is the most important lesson you've learned here? find out what the will of God is and to do it. Even if it is hard to accept? Even then. Maria, the dress you wore when you came to us, is that still in the robing room? Why no, Reverend Mother, I'm sure it's been given to the poor. Sister Margaretta always says that when we, when we enter the Abbey, all of our... Uh, Reverend Mother, why do you ask? Maria, it seems to be the will of God that you leave us. Leave? Leave here? Oh no, Mother, please, no. Only for a short while, Maria. Mother, this is what I want. This is my life. Please, let me stay. Perhaps if you go out into the world again, you will return to us knowing what we expect of you, and that we do expect it. Oh, but Mother, I know what you expect, and I'll do it, I promise. Maria. If it is God's will, where am I to go? There's a family, a family of seven children. You like children, Maria. You're very good with them. They need a governess until September. Until September? Captain Von Trapp expects you this afternoon. He's a fine man and a very brave one. He was awarded a medal by the Emperor. A captain in the Navy? Oh, Mother, I'm sure he'll be very strict. You're not being sent to his battleship, Maria. God bless you, my daughter. Reverend Mother, have I your permission to sing? Yes, my daughter. Please are
been given permission to sing. Girls in white dresses with blue satin sashes, snowflakes that stay on my nose and eyelashes, silver white winters that melt into springs. These are a few of my favorite things. When the child fights, when the bee screams, when I'm feeling sad, I simply remember my Yes, sir? I was calling the housekeeper and she didn't respond. Do you know why? Sometimes she, she doesn't hear, sir. I'm sorry, sir. I was answering the telephone. Good day, sir. We're happy to have you home again. Why did the governess leave? Who knows? She said, I've had enough this and walked out. Why? Was Louisa playing tricks again? Was she putting toads in her bed? She didn't complain about that, sir. Well... We're getting a new one today, and this one can't walk out. Oh? Yes, yeah, she's coming from Nonberg Abbey with orders to stay until September. Will you be home for a time, sir? Just until tomorrow. Say, that phone call, was it for me? No, it was for Franz. Before you arrived, there was a call from Vienna, a Frau Schreider. I have a number in the pantry. I know the number. I'll be back in a month with some guests. Do you know how many, sir? Just two. Her dead filer. Ah, oh, her dead filer. <laughs> and Frau Schreiber. Who wanted me on the telephone? It was the post office. They have a telegram for you. It will be delivered at 7 o'clock. 7 o'clock? Well, that gives me five hours to be nervous with that scatterbrain boy delivering messages again. Well, that is one thing people do say. If the Germans did take over Austria, we'd have efficiency. Don't let the captain hear you say that. He didn't whistle for us when his wife was alive. He's being the captain of the ship again. I can't bear being whistled to. It's humiliating. In the Imperial Navy, the boys' ends always whistle for us. But I wasn't in the Imperial Navy. <laughs> Too bad. You could have made a fortune. I'm Captain Von Trapp. You are Fräulein... Maria. Maria Reiner. Well, Maria, as to your duties here, would you mind stepping over there? Before you meet my children, you will put on a new dress. I haven't any other dress. When we enter the Abbey, all of our worldly clothes are given away to the poor. What about this one? Well, the poor didn't want this one. <laughs> and this is what you call a worldly dress? It belonged to our last posture. I can make my own clothes, except I wasn't given any time. Good. I'll see that you're given some materials, today if possible. Now, as to your duties here. You'll be in charge of my children. There are seven of them. You will see how far they have progressed in their studies and carry on from there. Each morning will be spent in the classroom. Each afternoon, they march. The first rule in this house is discipline. Yes, sir. Now.
Children, this is your new governess, Fräulein Maria. Now, when I sound your signal, you will step forward and repeat your name. You, Fräulein, will listen and learn their signal, so you may call them when you want them. Liesel. Friedrich. Louisa. Kurt. Brigitte. Marta. And that one's good. Now, let's see how much you've learned. Oh, Captain, I won't have to whistle for them. What I mean is, I'll be with them at all times. Not necessarily. You see, this is a large house and a large estate. The children have been taught to come only when they hear their signal. Now, when I want you, this is what you'll hear. Oh, Captain, 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 you won't have to travel. I couldn't possibly answer to a whistle. That's nonsense. Everyone in this house answers to a whistle. Here, I'll show you. Yes, sir? This is Franz, my orderly, or butler. The new governess, Fräulein Maria. Yes, sir. This is Frau Schmidt, the executive officer, the housekeeper. The new governess, Fräulein Maria. Oh, could you make sure that her bags are ready and put in her room? Yes, sir. Okay. Well, let's see how much you've learned. You are in charge. Pardon me, sir. I don't know how to address you. Call me Captain. Thank you, Captain. Excuse me, Captain. You forgot your whistle, Captain. I won't be needing it, Captain. Well, now that we're just us, do you mind telling me your names once more and how old you are? Now you're... I'm Liesel. I'm 16 years old and I don't need a governess. I'm glad you told me. We'll just be friends then. I'm Friedrich, I'm 14, and I'm a boy. Boy? Why, you're almost a man. I'm Brigitte. And you didn't tell me how old you are. Louisa. I'm Brigitte. She's Louisa. You're smart. I'm mine, and I think your dress is the ugliest one I ever saw. Brigitte, you have to say a thing like that. Why, don't you think it's ugly? If I did think so, I wouldn't say so. I'm Kurt. I'm 11 years old. Almost. That's a nice age to be. 11. Almost. I'm Marta. I'm going to be 7 on Tuesday. And I'd like a pink parasol. Pink's my favorite color, too. And you must be bright. I'm going to tell you guys something. I've never been a governess before. How do I start? You mean you don't know anything about being a governess? No. Well, the first thing to do is to tell Father to mind your own business. No, Louisa, don't. I like her. What's in here? Oh, well, that's my guitar. What do you bring this for? For when we all sing together. We don't sing. What do you mean you don't sing? Everybody sings. What songs do you know? We don't know any songs. You don't? No. no. Well, now I know where I'm going to start. I'm going to teach you how to sing. Let's start at the very beginning A very good place to start When you read, you begin with A, B, C When you sing, you begin with Do, Re, Mi Do, Re, Mi Do, Re, Mi The first three notes just happen to be Do, Re, Mi Do, Re, Mi do re mi fa so la ti. Come on, I'll make it easier for you. Listen. Do a deer, a female deer, ray a drop of golden sun. Me a name I call myself. Fa a long, long way to run. So a needle pulley thread. La, a note to follow so Tea, a drink with jam and bread That will bring us back to Do, oh, oh, oh Do, a 
fear, a female deer, Ray, a drop of golden sun, me, a name I call myself, Fa, a long, long way to run, so, a little bully friend, La, a note to follow, so, tea, a drink with jam and bread. A deer, a female deer, Ray, a drop of golden sun. Me, a name I call myself, Far, a long, long way to run. So, I need no holy friend, Law, I know to follow so. a song, Do, Re, Mi, Fa, So, and so on? Oh no, Brigida. Do, Re, Mi, Fa, So, and so on are only the tools we use to build a song. Once we get those notes down, we can sing a million of different tunes. How? By mixing them up. Listen. So, Do, La, Fa, Mi, Do, Re. Go on, now you try. So, Do, La, I did. But when you sing anything, you're using up to three words on one note. Yes, well, sometimes we do that. Okay, all together now. When you Right. 
Joe. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, I have a way of knowing things. Oh, you're wonderful. Oh, no, I'm not really. Well, yes you are. I mean, how did you know two days ago that you would be here at just this time tonight with a telegram for France? Well, every year on this day he always gets a birthday telegram from his sister. You see, you are wonderful. Can I come again tomorrow night? You won't know you'll have another telegram to deliver. Well, I could come here by mistake with a telegram for Colonel Schneider. He's here from Berlin with a gold item. No one's supposed to know that. Don't tell your father. Why not? Well, your father's pretty Austrian. We're all Austrian. Some people think we ought to be German. They're getting ready to well. Let's just hope your father doesn't get in trouble. Well, you don't need to worry about father. He's been decorated for bravery. I know. It's not him I worry for. It's his daughter. Me? Why? How old are you, Liesel? Well, I'm 16. What's wrong with that? You are 16, going on 17, baby, it's time to think. Better beware, be canny and careful, baby, you're on the brink. You are 16, going on 17, fellows will fall in line. Eager young lads and roues and cads will offer you food and wine. Totally unprepared are you to face the world of man. Timid and shy and scared are you of things beyond your ken. You need someone older and wiser telling you what to do. I am 17, going on 18. I'll take care of you. for Vienna tomorrow. I have the material he ordered for me dress for you. Oh, how kind of him. Before the dress is even made, I know it'll be the nicest dress I've ever had. I hope the captain will like it, because I want to ask him for some more material. More? Oh, not for me, for the children, for play clothes. The Von Trapp children don't play. The captain doesn't like them to get dirty. But they're children, they have to play. They have to roll on the grass and climb trees. 
Think of all the rocks and caves. Captain says the best exercise is marching. The children will continue to march. I hope you find room comfortable. Yes, thank you. There will be new curtains for the window. They'll be hung tomorrow. But these curtains are just fine. There will be new curtains. You won't be needing that. Why not? The captain doesn't allow music here. He won't have music. But why? He used to love music. We'd have wonderful nights here. His wife would sing, and he'd play the violin and guitar. But he shut that all out of his life. So that's why he's the way he is. But to not have music, that's wrong for him and wrong for the children too. It will all work out. He'll marry before the summer's over. Oh, that would fix everything. The children would have a mother again. It's gonna rain. You better close your windows. Dear God, I know now that you sent me on a mission to prepare these children for their new mother and to help them win her love so she'll never want to leave them. God, I hope you make this a happy family in thy sight. Now, God bless the captain, and God bless Liesel, and Friedrich, and Louisa, and Marta, and Brigida, and little Gretel. Oh, and what's the other boy's name? Well, God bless what's his name. And God bless the Reverend Mother, and Sister Margareta, and everybody at Nonberg Abbey. Now, God, about Liesel. Help her to know that I'm her friend, and help her to tell me what she's up to. You're not going to tell on me, are you? Help, put in, help me to be understanding, so I may guide her footsteps. In the name of the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Ghost. Amen. Well, it's just I was out for a walk, and someone locked the doors earlier than usual. So when I saw your window open, please don't tell Father. Did you climb the trellis to get up here? Yes, that's how we always used to get in here to play tricks on the governess. Louisa can climb it with a toad in her hand. Liesel, well, you weren't out walking alone, were you? You know, if we clean your dress up tonight, nobody would notice it tomorrow, and then this would all just be between you and me. Come on. Go put this on, soak your dress in the bathtub, and then come out here and sit on the edge of my bed, and we'll have a little talk. <laughs> You know, today I said I didn't need a governess. Well, maybe I do. Oh, Gretel, it's you. Are you frightened? You're not there to scare the thunderstorm, are you? Come on, up on the bed. Where are the others? They're asleep. They're not scared. Oh, no? Look. Come on, all of you. Wait for me. Now all we have to do is wait for the boys. Oh, we won't see them. Boys are brave. Oh, you boys weren't frightened, were you? No, we just wanted to be sure you weren't. Friedrich, was this your idea? Oh, no. It was Kurt's. Kurt, that's it. That's the one I forgot. God bless Kurt. Why does it do that? Well, the lightning says something to the thunder, and the thunder answers it back. I wish you wouldn't answer so loudly. You know, maybe if we all sing a song, we wouldn't hear it. <laughs> High on a hill was a lonely god heard, lay, or lay, or lay, hey, ooh. Loud was the voice of the lonely god heard, lay, or lay, or loo. Last thing clear from the gold heart throb her lay or lay or lay Men on the road na 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 lay or lay or loo Ha ha lady or lay oh ha ha lady or lay Ha ha lady or lay oh lady or lay oh lay A prince on the bridge of a castle not her lay or lay or lay Men on the road with the low to toad her lay or lay or the loo. Men in the midst of a table toad her lay or lay or lay. Men drinking beer with the foam of float her lay or lay or the loo. Ho ho, lady or the lay, oh oh, ho lady or the lay. Ho ho, lady or the lay, oh lady or the lay, oh lay. One little girl in a pale pink coat her lay or lay or lay. She 
over to the lonely goat herd, lay your lay your loo. Soon her mama with the gleaming load her, lay your lay your lay your loo. Watch out, watch for a girl and goat her, lay your lay your loo. Come a tree, oh lady, 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 oh oh lady, 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 o
How else could I afford it? Why else would I be here, right? I thought you liked my company. Of course I like you. Why wouldn't I like you? You live like a king. You have an excellent wine cellar. Max. I like rich people. I like the way they live. I like the way I live when I'm with them. <laughs> Georg, is there a cathedral around here? Yes, that's our abbey, Nonberg Abbey. Do they have a choir? A beautiful one. Good. In the next couple of days, I'm going to be visiting all these small towns around here, listening to Zegerbund's choirs, quartets. Will you be home for dinner? Oh, yes. It was in a town just about that size, Watsman, where I discovered the St. Ignatius Boys Choir. They won the festival in 1930, became very famous, toured all over the world. Whatever became of them? By the time their voices changed, they were rich enough to live in America. Say, who lives in that dilapidated castle down there? Rumpelstiltskin? Baron Elberfeld, the oldest family in the valley. I'd like to meet him. I'd like to meet all your friends. Garrick, why don't you have a dinner for me while I'm here? Nothing very much, just something lavish. I wouldn't know whom to invite. Today it's hard to see who's a friend and who's an enemy. Garrick, this isn't a good time to make enemies. Let's make some friends. Where are those children? You're not worried about them, are you? They should have been here to welcome you. It couldn't have been an intentional sight because they haven't met me yet. I'm sorry, I will go get them. Elsa, have you made up Georg's mind yet? Is he going to marry you? Oh yes, he hasn't admitted it yet. There seems to be something standing in his way. You don't know what it is? No, I do. What? It's simple, it's money. Money. Yes. He's rich, and you're rich. Not a sign of them anywhere. What do you want? Uh, Captain, I didn't see, I, I mean, I, I didn't know. Uh, Heil! <laughs> Who are you? I have a message for Herr Detweiler. I'm Herr Detweiler. You've delivered your telegram. Now get! Out! Georg, he's just a boy. I'm an Austrian. I will not be hired. Georg, it's time you start looking at things the way I do. What's gonna happen is gonna happen. Just make sure it doesn't happen to you. Max, it's good you haven't any character. Because I'm sure if you did, I'd hate you. You couldn't hate me. I'm too lovable. Yes, Father, you have a call. It's from I'll take it. up, get into your uniforms, and report back here immediately. Oh, and Fräulein Maria, what is this abomination? Out of a nightmare? Oh no, Captain, out of the old curtains that used to hang in my room. There's plenty of wear left in them. So, you mean to tell me my children have been wearing old curtains? Oh yes, everybody smiles at them. Don't say. They say, there go Captain Von Trapp's children. My children have always been a credit to my name. Oh, but they weren't, Captain. They were just unhappy little marching machines. Don't you tell me about my children. Well, someone has to. You're not around long enough to know them. I said, I don't want to hear. I know you don't, but you've got to. 
Take Liesel. Liesel isn't a child anymore, and if you keep treating her like one, well, Captain, you've got mutiny on your hands. And Friedrich, Friedrich's afraid to be himself. He's shy, he's aloof. And you brush him away the way they do all of them. He needs you, Captain, he needs your confidence. Don't tell me about my son. Brigitte could tell you about him. Brigitte could tell you lots of things if you got to know her, because she notices things. And she tells you the truth, especially when you don't want to hear it. And Kurt, well, Kurt's just, he's sensitive. He's easily hurt, and you ignore him. I wasn't finished. And Louisa, Louisa just wants to have a good time. You just have to let her have a good time. And Marta, well, I don't know about Marta yet, but somebody has to find out about her. And Gretel, oh, little Gretel wants to be loved. Love Gretel, Captain. Love all of them. Stop. Stop. You will pack your things and report to the Abbey as soon as possible. I'm sorry, Captain. I shouldn't have said those things, not in the way that I've said them. What's that? Singing. Who's singing? Your children. My, my children singing? I wanted them to sing for Frau Schrader when they met her. to show Frau Schrader the gardens. Yes, show me the gardens. I want to see everything and with you too. I don't know all your names yet, but I'm sure I won't get them straight for a very long time. My name is Marta. No, it's not. I'm Marta. She's Louisa. You're right. I, I don't know my children. Oh, and they're waiting to know you. They want so much to. After I've gone... No, I want you to stay. If I can be of any help. You've helped enough. You've brought music back into my life. I'd soon forgotten. We'll laugh like a brook when it trips and falls over stones in its way to sing through the night. Like a rock who is learning to pray, I go to the hills when my heart is lonely. I know I will hear what I've heard before.
I came back to congratulate you. Oh, thank you. The captain was really moved. Yes, I think he was pleased. He's asked me to stay on with the children. You're staying on? Oh, only until September. September. Then I go back to the Abbey. The Abbey. Oh, I'm going to be a nun. Oh, how nice. <laughs> Maria, when you get back to the Abbey, think of us. I'll pray for you. That's right, that's all the guests. Fair shit, will you fix my hair? We've never had a party in this house before. We've had many parties here. Can we dance while the guests are dancing? Of course. Remember what Fräulein Maria told us? Mm. No way. You. You have German blood, haven't you? I'm not a German. I'm an Austrian. There's going to be an Anschluss. I warn you and everyone no, likes you, and that goes for our whole... Much more pleasant on the terrace. Baron Elberfeld, it's lovely to have you in the Baroness here. Frau Schrader's charming, Georg. I hope she isn't ill. Oh, no. Just a headache. I was actually on my way to get her. Father, I don't think your guests are having a very good time. Yes. Half the people I invited aren't speaking to the other half. Well, maybe they're having fun not talking to each other. Oh, sir. Frau Schrader told me to let you know that she'll be joining you in a few minutes. Thank you, Frau Schmidt. Would you mind asking if she'd like a glass of brandy? Remember it. Show me. Oh, but I haven't danced since. You said left hand behind the back? Yes, but first the boy and girl meet. Yes. Then we go on a little stroll. No, Kurt, that's all wrong. Let me show you. I don't remember anymore. Your face is all red. Well, Kurt, uh, that's the way it's done. I, I guess I'm just not very used to dancing. Well, hello there. Good evening, Frau Schrader. I hope you're feeling better, Frau Schrader. Yes, thank you, Kurt. <laughs> well, hello, Uncle Max. We're having a party. Good. Tell your father's bounty of success. I'm here. Max. Elsa, you are by far the most beautiful corporation president I've ever seen. Thank you, Max. Ah, Max, you're back. And as always, just in time for dinner. Georg, did you think you could have a gala without me? Uh, it seems we have an odd man. A little odd, but charming. Liesl, could you run and 
set two more places. Oh, and I'd like to see Fräulein Maria. Two places? Yes, we need another woman. Who? Liesel? Oh, no, she's much too young. I was thinking Maria. You can't be serious. Yes, I can. She's a nursemaid. I don't see her that way. I don't mind, but your friends, you can't expect them to dine with Maria. Why not? Elsa, tell them why not. Max, can you change in a hurry? Yes, Max, we could use you. Frau Schrader, they're talking about you out there. Come on, Garrick, I've been dodging these people for an hour. Good evening, Fräulein Maria. Nice to see you again, Erika Feiler. Yes, you're going to. Brigitte, have you seen your father? I knew it. Frau Schrader didn't have a headache. She was just trying to get out of the party. She said you'd been dodging these people. Now, Brigitte, you mustn't say things that you don't know are true. But I do know. I just heard her tell father that she'd been dodging these people. Oh, that didn't mean she didn't have a headache. Come on. It's very important that you children like Frau Schrader. I like her all right. Why is it important? Well, I think she's going to be your new mother. Oh, Fräulein, father can't marry her. Why, he couldn't. Why couldn't he? Well, because he's in love with you. Now, Brigida, that's just the type of thing. Oh, you must know that. But all Brigida, these... No. Remember the other night when we were all singing the Edelweiss song he taught us, and after we finished, you stopped and you laughed at him for forgetting the words. But he didn't forget the words. He just stopped singing to look at you. No, but and then when no. he speaks, the way his voice sounds. And just now, when you were dancing, Brigida. you're in love with him. Brigida. One more dance, Gettle, and then to bed. Oh, and Maria. You're not going to have dinner with the children, as usual. You're going to have down here dinner here with us. Yes, it's all but arranged. You'll have to change. You'll have to hurry. The children want to say goodnight. No, not now. Please, Garrick, the way they did it for me last night, it was so sweet. Not in front of the s strangers. Please, Garrick, for me. Max, you're just in time. Children! <coughs> now.
nice set. They're extraordinary. Fräulein Maria taught them to do it. I've been looking all over Austria for a group like this, and I find it here. <laughs> Wait a minute, Beth. A group of seven children in one family. I had to persuade Gerd to let them perform in front of the guests tonight. Ah, then you have influence. You must convince him to let them perform in the festival. Max, no. Elsa, it's for Austria. And it wouldn't do me any harm. Bless you, my daughter. Ave. Maria has asked to see you. I know it has taken her a long time. Do you know why they sent her? She doesn't speak. She hasn't spoken except in prayer. Mm, I see. Maria, this must have been a trying experience for you. Oh, it was, wife and mother. Has it taught you anything? It's taught me that I never want to leave these walls ever again. Why did it make you leave? They didn't. I left. I left without telling them I was going. I left without saying goodbye. Sit down, Maria. Why did you do this, Maria? What have you done? I, I, I was frightened. Frightened? I was confused. I never felt that way before. Oh, I couldn't stay. I knew that here I'd be safe. Maria, our abbey is not to be used as an escape. What is it you can't face? I couldn't face him again. Thank you, Sister Margareta. <laughs> Maria, are you in love with Captain Von Trapp? Oh, I don't know, I don't know. Tell me about it, my child. Well, Brigitte said that I was, and she said that he was in love with me, and the way we looked at each other, and that night that we were dancing. Oh, I could hardly breathe. Oh, and then I knew I couldn't stay. But you do like him. Well, yes. Did you show him how you felt? If I did, I didn't know that I did. And that's what's been torturing me, oh, Reverend Mother. But I do know this. I know at this moment I am ready to take the vows of obedience, poverty, and chastity. Maria, the love of a man and a woman is holy too. When we first met, you told me about your mother and father before they died. Do you remember? Were they happy? Oh yes, mother, they were very happy. Maria, you were born of their love, of their happiness. And you too, my child, have a great capacity to love. But I've pledged my life to God. I've, I've pledged my life to his service. Maria, if you truly love this man, it doesn't mean that you love God less. You must find out, you must go back. Oh mother, please don't ask me to do that. Maria, our abbey is not to be used to shut up problems. You have to find the life you were born to live. Oh, Mother, how do I do that? You look for it.
Welcome back to the fictional world of the Von Trapp Family Singers. During intermission, I hope you had a chance to discuss our concept of reimagining the sound of music with your friends. Now, remember, Maria was assigned to tutor only the youngest child, and that the real historical context is 1926. Well, now it's back to the world of Max. One little girl in a pale pink coat, lay yoda lay yoda lay hee yoda back to the lonely goat her, lay yoda lay yoda loo. Soon her mama with a gleaming glow her, lay yoda lay yoda lay hee What to do when her girl and goat her, lay yoda lay yoda Concert hall. What concert hall, Uncle Max? Any concert hall. Maybe the Kultzberg Concert Hall, but a concert hall packed full of people. Now, let's try to guess. Do Gretel, why don't you sing? I've got a sore finger. There, now you can sing for Uncle Max. The night of the concert, you all sing so beautifully with such spirit. Well, let's try it again. Do the darlings, they wanted to sing for me. <coughs> Except they don't sing as well as they used to. We need Fräulein Maria. You don't need Fräulein Maria. You can sing just as well with me. But I've had experience with choirs, quartets, glee clubs. Max, please. Now, what would you like to say? Do a deer, a female deer, ray a drop of golden sun, me a name, my queen. Oh, yes. always started with. You are not to mention Fräulein Maria. Come on, Max, I feel like a brisk walk. That's just what I need. Is anyone using the car? Now, what are we going to say? on Fräulein Maria? Only those she liked and laughed at. You didn't put any toads in her bed. No, father. Well, I can't understand why she just pack up and leave without even saying goodbye. Isn't Fräulein Maria coming back? No, darling. I don't think so. But she was the best governess we ever had. You're not going to have a governess anymore. Oh, good. I'm not sure that's good. <laughs> You're going to have a new mother. A new mother? Ralph Schrader. Yes, it was all organized last night. I'm very happy. Well, it's time for your afternoon walk. about something, she's using that song. Remember? Yeah. All right, let's try it. Raindrops on roses and whiskers on kittens, bright copper candles and warm woolen mittens, brown paper packages tied up with strings. These are a few with 
Right away. I'll get him. I'll go with you. <coughs> Gretel, how's your finger? You remembered. Liesel, how are you? I'm good, Fraulein. Any telegrams lately? No, Fraulein. Now I'll be glad to go to boarding school. Oh, Liesel, you can't use boarding school to face your, um, escape your problems. You have to face them. Oh, I have so much to tell you all. We have a lot to tell you too, Fräulein. Oh, I'm sure you have a great deal to tell me. I guess the most important thing is that father is going to be married. Married? To Frau Schrader. Are, are you sure? Quite sure. He just told us. He just told us himself. We found him. Liesel? Louisa, Brigida, boys. Maria, we'll be in the nursery. You came back? Yes, Captain. You, you left us with no explanation at all, without even saying goodbye. I, I know. I was very wrong of me. Please, forgive me. Why did you do this to us? The reason no longer exists. Then you're back to stay? Only until you can make arrangements for a new governess. No, no. You've been missed. I've missed. Everybody's missed you. While you've been gone, it's, it's all been different. It's all been wrong. But then. No, no. You've said enough. The children need you. Go up to them. I know I'm right, Max. We'll find him and ask him. I'll take your word for it, Elsa. Georg, settle this for Max and me, will you? How far down the mountain does your property go? Do you see that stone wall over there? That's the property line. You see? I didn't argue about it. I know. That makes me furious. I don't like to win without a fight. Hey, Deckweiler. While you were gone, you had a call from Berlin. Who could be calling me from Berlin? They said that you'd know. Oh, thank you, Franz. Now, Georg, what were we just talking about? Max, what's with all these calls from Berlin? Georg, you know I have no political convictions. Can I help it if other people do? Let's not stir that up again. The Germans have promised not to invade Austria. Max knows that. Then why does he bother answering those calls from Berlin? Because if they don't keep their promise, I want to have some friends among them, naturally. And you agree too? Georg, look at it this way. There was a man who was dying. They were giving him his last rites. They asked him, do you renounce the devil in all his words? And he said, at this moment, I prefer not to make any enemies. Georg, if they should invade us, would you defy them? Yes. Do you realize what might happen to you? To your property, to your children, to everyone close to you, to Elsa, to me. Oh, and if they did, what would you do? What anyone with any sense would do. Just sit tight and wait for it all to blow over. And you think it will? One thing is certain. Nothing you can do will make any difference. Don't look so tense, darling. Take the world off your shoulders. Relax. But you can't just... Win by giving up. You can't outsmart a lion by putting your head from Berlin in the lion's mouth. I'll call them back. You might as well go now, Max. Yes, go. Go. Georg, I feel I know what's going to happen here. 
Can't you see things my way? Not if you're willing to see things their way. There's one thing you do better here than we do in Vienna. Your sunsets. I'm going to miss them. Captain? Oh, I, I beg your pardon. Georg, you didn't tell me Fräulein Maria was back. I'm delighted. Thank you. Um, Captain, the children would like to know if it was all right for them to take a holiday from their lessons tomorrow so we could all go on a picnic. Yes, I don't mind. I'm sure that would make them very happy. And may I be permitted to wish you two happiness? Captain, Frau Schrader, the children have told me that you're going to be married. Oh. I'm afraid the children were wrong. Georg, I've got to get packing time to get back to Vienna. If you must. I'll have Franz get the car ready. I can do that. Wie to say, there. Goodbye, Maria. I'm sorry if I said something I shouldn't have said. You did say the wrong thing, but you said it at the right time. The children told me you were going to marry Frau Schrader. We found we just couldn't go the same way. That, that door is shut. Well, Sister Margareta always says that when God shuts a door... I know. He opens a window. Maria, why'd you run away to the Abbey? What made you come back? The Reverend Mother. She told me you have to look for your life. And sometimes when you find it, you don't recognize it? No. Then, not at first, but someday, someday, all of a sudden, it stands before you? Yes. I, I look at you now and I realize this is not something that has just happened. It's something I've known deep inside me for many weeks. You knew it too? What, what was it that told you? Brigida. She said the night that we danced together. Yes, there was no ordinary dance, was it? No, I, I haven't danced since I was a little girl. It's quite different when you're all grown up. Yes. Nothing ever could 
Should I ask to marry you? Well, why don't you go ask the children? the mirror, please. Why, Mother, I look. Don't be vain, my daughter. Let me say it for you. Indeed, you look beautiful, my dear. Festival 1938. The Trapp family singers, and look, here are all your names. Liesel, Friedrich, Louisa, Kurt, Brigitte, Marta, and Gretel. Why am I always last? Because you're the youngest. 
Now, Liesl, I'm depending on you. The day after tomorrow, all the children must be ready by 11 o'clock. That's when... Here, Judge Barlow, can you help me, please? The gala is here, and they're wondering why the flag's not raised. Hi! I tried to explain... Keep quiet. When is the captain returning? Who knows when a man is on his honeymoon. These are not times for joking. It's been four days since the Angelus, and this is the only house in the province that is not flying the flag of the third height. You mean the flag with the black spider on it, Brigitte? Do you permit such remarks? Who are you? I am Maximilian Detweiler, first secretary of the Ministry of Education and Culture. That was in the old regime. In the old regime, I was third secretary. Now I'm first secretary. Good. Then you will order them to fly the flag. We only take orders from Captain. You will take your orders from us, as will the Captain. Hire. Hire. Why was he so cross? Everybody's cross these days. Is his father going to be in trouble? He doesn't have to be. The thing today, today is to get along with everyone. Now, Liesl, make sure all the children are ready by 11 o'clock. Uncle Max, do you think Father's going to be all right with all this? He will be pleased and proud. Liesl, do you think so? Brigitte, don't you trust me? No. <laughs> well, anyhow, make sure you're all ready by 11 o'clock. Fräulein Liesl, see what I have here? Oh, that's Father's luggage. Yeah, they're back. <laughs> now, Liesl, they'll have much to tell us. Let's not rush in telling them anything. Oh, oh, Georg, we weren't expecting you back till next week. Ah, Max, you're here. We have much to talk about. Oh, children, we missed you all so very much. What did you miss the most? Oh, we missed all the noise you make in the morning. We missed the sound you make when telling each other to be quiet. And of course, we missed your singing. You came back just in time to hear us sing. Look, Father, we're going to be performing in the Kaltzberg Festival on Friday. Let me see this. Max, are you responsible for this? I was just waiting to talk to you about it, Georg. I'd like to see you worm your way out of this one. Presents! Oh, we're fine! We're fine! Now, Georg, I had to make a last-minute decision. I was fortunate enough to be able to enter them in the festival at all. They'll be the talk of the festival. Seven children in one family. Not my family. But the committee heard them. They were enchanted. Really, Max? What did they say? You have never heard such praise. Georg, did you hear that? The Von Trapp family does not sing in public. Oh, but Georg, if they make people happy. And for the festival, people come from all over the world. It's out of the question. It's for Austria. There is no Austria. But the answer is happening peacefully. You must at least be grateful for that. Grateful? To these swine? Maria, he must at least pretend to work with them. I admire the way he feels, but you must convince him. He has to compromise. No, no Max, no. Maria, you must. Max, I can't ask Georg to be anything less than what he is. Then I'll have to talk to him. If these children don't sing in the festival, well, it will be a reflection on Austria, and it won't do me any good. Maria, I always knew you loved us children. Now I know you love Father. Oh, yes, Liesl, I love him very much. How do you know? Well, I don't think first myself anymore. I think first of him. I know now how to spend my life. Here's no bell till you ring it. A song is no song till you sing it. And love in your heart wasn't put there to stay. Love isn't love till you
somehow you know you'll jump up and go if ever he calls your name. Gone are your old ideas of life, the old ideas grow dim. Lo and behold, you're someone's wife, and you Oh, Rolf, it's so nice to finally meet you. I have a telegram for Captain Von Trapp. Well, why don't you stay here with Liesl and I'll go bring it to him. I have orders to deliver it directly to the captain. Silly, mm. they're married. Ah, Franz. This telegram is to be delivered directly to Captain Von Trapp. Heil. Heil. Rolf, even Franz? Yes, even Franz. Even me. Even everybody in Nonburg, except the great Captain Von Trapp. And if he knows what's good for him, he'll come over to the right side. Oh, Rolf, don't talk like that. Cry all you want, but just remember what I said. And you remember too. How could he betray father like that? Maybe he wasn't threatening your father. Maybe he was just warning him. Liesel? What is it, Gail? I didn't think I'd have to face a decision so soon. It's a conscription from the Berlin Navy. Well, Gail? I can't just brush this aside. I admit, it would be nice to have a ship under me again. And to know that you are safe. But, but, Maria, please help me. Whatever you decide, Georg, will be my decision. Then I know I cannot do it. Well, of course not. We'll have to leave Austria. You'll have to leave tonight, now. No, no, not tonight. What about the children? We can't just pack up and leave. And they'll be watching us. We'll, we'll need a plan. We'll, we'll need time. Admiral von Schreiber of the Navy of the Third Reich is here to see you. Thank you, Freshman. It seems we haven't got time. Then we'll have to make time. Yes, I'll bring them in here. You make sure everyone's safe. <sighs> Maria, what's going on? Stormtroopers? I knew this was going to happen. Max, you stay here with Georg. Liesel, children, quickly! This way, Admiral. We can speak better in here. Ah, Max. I believe you and Herzeller know each other. Now, would you gentlemen like a seat? We are here for work. Captain Von Trapp, a telegram was sent to you three days ago. Yes, I just received it. I got back only half an hour ago. Captain Von Trapp has just returned from his honeymoon, sir. Congratulations, Captain. Thank you, sir. Your record in the war has been very well remembered by us, Captain. That's good to hear, sir. Let's get to work, if you don't mind. <coughs> in our Navy, we hold you in a very high regard. That explains why I'm here. Having had no response to our telegram, the High Command has sent me here in person. That's very flattering, sir. It's just, I, I've had no time to consider. I'm here to present you your commission. I am deeply conscious of the honor, sir, but it's... And your orders are to report immediately to the naval base in Bremerhaven. Immediately? 
Why, Georg, you, that's impossible for you. May I introduce my wife, Baroness von Trapp, Admiral von Schreiber. Madame? What I mean is, sir, is that we're all performing in the Kultzberg Festival this Friday night. See here in the program, the von Trapp family singers. It's all been arranged by the Ministry of Education and Culture. Friday night? This is Wednesday. That's only a matter of two days. You can report to Bremerhaven by Monday. Do you have a telephone I could use? This way, Admiral. And if there is any question, perhaps adding the way to my voice, it gives here only the names of the children. It says, the Von Trapp family singers, and I am the head of the Von Trapp family. Strange to think about, you, singing in concert. What are you going to sing, Captain? It will be your pleasure to come and hear us at the concert, sir. I'd like to hear you sing, now. Sing what you're going to sing in concert, sing. Lisa, would you give us the dough? <clears throat> dough a deer, a female deer, ray a drop of golden sun. Me a name I call myself, for a long, long way to run. Drink with jam and bread. I drink with jam and bread. Jam and bread. Tea with jam and bread. Tea with jam and bread. Jam and bread. Jam and bread. Tea with jam. Jam and bread. Jam and bread. Tea with jam. Jam and bread. With jam.
gentlemen, thank you. Just a moment, I have an announcement that concerns you. Ladies and gentlemen, we have reached the conclusion of our festival concert. Except, however, we don't know what that conclusion is going to be. The judges are currently putting their heads together, and while we are waiting, I think there should be an encore. <laughs> it seems this may be the last opportunity the Von Trapp family has to sing together for a long, long time. I've just been informed that Captain Von Trapp leaves immediately from this concert hall to his new command in the naval forces of the Third Reich. <coughs> a god of honor has arrived to escort him directly from this concert hall to the naval base at Bremerhaven. And now, ladies and gentlemen, the Von Trapp family again. There's a sad sort of clanging from the clock in the hall And the bells in the steeple too And up in the nursery an absurd little bird Is propping out to say cuckoo Cuckoo, cuckoo Regretfully they tell us But firmly they compel us To say goodbye To To you and you and you So long, farewell I'll be to say goodbye We flit, we float We flee, we flee, we fly So long, farewell I'll be to say goodbye the so must I goodbye. of our distinguished judges. We will start with the third award. For this honor, the judges have named the trio of the Zangerboot of Herwegen. Second award. For this honor, the judges have named Frau Schweiger, the first soloist of St. Agatha's Church in Murbeck. First award. The highest musical honor in the Osmark goes to the Von Trapp family. <laughs> Captain, 
They have only five more rooms to search. Shouldn't be long now. How many of them are there? I've counted only eight stormtroopers and their officer. Oh, Sister Margareta, we are so sorry we brought this upon you. This is crazy. This Abbey has always been a sanctuary. Not with these people. This is the third time we've searched the Abbey. Isn't this God's house? Shh. Yes, darling. You must all be very, very quiet. We'll let you know when they've gone. After they've gone, can we go home? No, darling. There's a long road ahead of us. Liesel, we must all stay very close together. Lieutenant! No one's here, sir. As good, come. Come in. Thank God. Reverend Mother, we're sorry we brought this on you. Oh, Reverend Mother, we can never thank you enough. As soon as it's safe, we'll leave. We hid the car in the woods. The car will do you no good. They put a guard on the road in front of the gate. I've been listening to the wires. All the roads are blocked. The border's been closed. I've always thought of these mountains as my friends, standing there, protecting us. Now I see they're our enemy. Never your enemies. Haven't you read? I will lift up mine eyes onto the hills, from whence cometh my help. Georg, I know those mountains better than I know this garden, and so do you. And once we're over them, we're in Switzerland. But the... The children. Okay, or we can help them. Father, we can do it without help. You shall have help. For ye shall go out with joy and come forth with peace. For the mountains and the hills shall break before you into singing. <laughs>